Good evening, welcome to another Sunday School here with Witches and Heathens of CNY. Tonight we are doing a three-person justified working. <laughs> we are defending people. <laughs> <laughs> Our clients. And we are going to definitely seek justice in this working. So this is an act of working that we are going to perform for you tonight. This is kind of a, a mixture of a few that we've already done and some from Jeff's book. Yeah, it happens in this, <laughs> in this place. Hello, Beth. Did I say Beth? Yeah, I think that's Hi, Beth. Beth. Hello. So, um, I guess we'll just dive right in. Um, so today we're going to be making poppets. Um, it's going to be for three individual people. Uh, to start with, um, so basically, there's no right or wrong way to do a poppet like this. Um, now, we're going to be doing a curse, or curses, but this can actually translate to any type of working that you're going to be doing with poppets. So, you just want to have herbs that coincide with your purpose. So, in this case, we did a bunch of different um, malefic herbs and poisons. Um, and we'll kind of run through exactly what we're going to be doing or using. Um, you also want pictures of your targets. So we have our three pictures right here. Yeah, I covered it. Um, so typically you want the person's name and their birthday. Um, you can also write around what you want to happen. You Which can, we are going to be doing. I'm sorry. Yeah, you can be crossing out, like, you know, cross, so we'll, we'll go through over that. Um, we also have some insects, so that they're going to do different things. So we have um, insects like a wasp to sting. We have mosquitoes to torment. We have crickets. So crickets, um, if you have someone who's gossiping about you a lot, the crickets act as like a, a signal to you that they're, they're still talking about you. So it's like that chirp. So you'll hear that chirp when, when someone is actively talking to you. So we have some crickets here. Um, then we have a whole bunch of herbs. So we have your typical witchcraft herbs. We have, <laughs> we have mugwort, wormwood, which is an, a really good herb for boosting your witchcraft, especially nocturnal type stuff like we're doing today. Um, another really good one that I like to use is parsley, but if you go into your kitchen and you have anything like, for example, Italian herb blend, this is good because it has pepper, which is really good for cursing, as well as parsley. So parsley in the ancient world, especially in ancient Greece, was an herb of the dead. So they, they grew, the Greeks grew it on the graves of the dead, and when someone was close to dying, they would say all that's left for them is parsley, which means all that's left for them is the herb of the dead. So we have that in this, so it's got salt and all kinds of fun stuff that you can use for cursing. Um, if you go to your grocery store, these types of bottled mixed herbs are perfect for different purposes. You can get some for prosperity, healing, all kinds of good stuff. Then we have a collection of dirts, so different great Graveyard dirts do different things. We have what one is this we one? have suicide dirt. We have devil's chair dirt and serial killer graveyard dirt. Yes. So the suicide dirt is meant to torment, um, kind of drive them crazy. Serial killer dirt speaks for itself. <laughs> devil's chair dirt. So if you're ever familiar with the legend of the devil's chair, if you sit in the chair, you're sure to pass on shortly afterwards. Within the year. Yes. <laughs> so. Um, these aren't nice curses or nice things to do, but this is justified. Um, so basically when we're doing these things, we're petitioning our gods and our spirits to carry out our will, um, to carry out our justice, and we're just kind of giving suggestions with the ingredients. So we're not saying, you know, kill them. We're just saying, if you feel like it. But if not, you can do other things like torment them or drive them crazy. Right. <laughs> There's options. There's options. Right. We're giving them <laughs> options. So um, other things that we have is vinegar. So this is a very pungent bitter substance, so that's going to be used as some blood. Um, old wine, so if you have wine that's gotten old and undrinkable, always keep it for this type of work because it's gross and you want to use it in your curses. So this, this feeds the dead. So these are the spirits that are going to be tormenting the people. Um, and then you want your cloth. So we're going to show you how to do very simple no sew. No sew poppets out of cloth. And if anyone's been with us long enough, it, it is similar to the rotting poppet curse that we did. Yes, yes. So the theory is behind it. So not only are you using meat, which sympathetically sympath sympathetically <laughs> represents human flesh, but also the more the poppet rots, the more the person's mental state decomposes or regresses. So... 
Um, then some other little ingredients we have, we have Stop Gossip Incense. Um, we have our oils, uh, which are Double Cross Oil, Hollow Dead Oil, um, and then just various needles and fun things like that. Stuff. We, I did not. So we have this snake venom. I call venom. It. That's what I call it. Yep. But. So this is a good <laughs> potion to use when you're cursing. So basically, if you find like a dead snake or even snake bones or anything like that, you can tincture it in high proof alcohol, and it makes a great um, elixir that you use in the poppet itself to kind of add that extra boost of pungency to it. It's the water in its veins. Yes. <laughs> yes. So to start, what we're gonna do? Do you have the pens for everybody? Pen? Pens. Pens. Pen. Well, I wrote that with something. I must have a pen somewhere. <laughs> we really tried to get everything in here before we started. Why we're running late. <laughs> is that a pen? Oh, that is. All right, so when you have your, your enemy's paper, you write around the edge what you want to happen. And you can, like, even do, like, a little petition to whatever spirit or deity that you work with. If anyone has any questions while we're doing this, feel free to ask. Yes. What happened to the music? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> we did have you. Yeah. And, uh, your, your music. Apparently, if you whisper to Aunt Alexa, she whispers back at you. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you have that enabled. And yes, she does. <laughs> I did have lots of pens. Oh, here's another pen. No, you're fine. Here, I'll move this. You will. I don't have anything to write. Can we just write, chill the fuck out? Yep. Oh, pardon me. I'm so sorry. Just, I meant... <laughs> can, we, can we edit and bleep that out? No. No, we cannot. You did not hear me say that. <laughs> Why did you... Oh. All right. Is part of the effect? Yep. Oh, okay. As if you want to do yours, just write, write right around whatever you want to happen. Okay. That's All right, so. That's now we typically like to do these things over paper plates. Because um, it does get messy, it's going to be very gooey. So what we're making right now is going to be the heart of the poppet. Um, so this is going to be separate from the head. So what we're going to do... <clears throat> so let's say you take your... Now, female poppets are a lot easier to make than male poppets are. Um, so let me go ahead and get this started. <laughs> so on your plate you have your cloth face down so the middle of it is going to be over the center of the plate and then what we're going to do is we're just going to make a simple little mixture for the head so I'm going to grab this nice gooey meat right here that's going to go three ways oh, I got a fork yep. alright so what, what we're going to do your fingers yep, we're just digging our fingers so it's going to be messy so you take like a little glop about that big, because this pop actually you, you know, go three ways, dude. Yeah. Well, we're gonna use it for the body too. Oh. So you're gonna take a little bit. So it's probably like a little marble-sized piece of meat, something about that size. So you can use like hamburger, you can use pork, um, anything that strikes your fancy. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and use some of the Italian herbs. Oh, this is a grinder. Mm -hmm. this is Like the cat literally very, very just lift the top. layer. There you go. Yep. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> you got it. So this is not where you're putting the name paper. This is just making the head. So we're gonna do some of that. Yeah. Well, we're gonna... Now, since this is where the person is speaking out against you, this is going to be where you put the cricket. So you're going to grab a nice juicy cricket right here. And you put that right in the middle of that meat. And we're just going to kind of pick around at all the little herbs. So the area of the body will correspond to the herbs that you want to put in it. So wormwood. So this you can use this to inflict madness. There you go. Put some more incense on. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Alright, so, um, this is a serial killer dirt. So we want them to be like kind of like suicide. in mental anguish. Oh, wait. Suicide. Oh, this is suicide. Yeah. No, this so is suicide dirt. That's Double the share. Double share. Double share. Not sure. Yeah. Okay, well, give me suicide the suicide dirt. <laughs> suicide. These ones are labeled. Yeah, there we go. Okay. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and throw some of that in there. So we want torment. So this is why we're going to use the suicide dirt. There we go. And just kind of throwing in a good chunk. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of spoons. Yeah. And then we're going to do the pepper. So the pepper, what this is going to do is... Anytime they talk against you, their mouth will get hot. So you want to like kind of burn their tongue if they're speaking against you. Mm -hmm. Almost dropped my tongue. Yeah, you do. <laughs> we love making tacos. Yep, there's so much of our fun. favorite things to do. <laughs> so typically, this is easier. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so there we go. Got some pepper in there. And that should be good for the head. Maybe we'll put some of the double cross in there. Shake it up. What's that dirt over there? Cereal like killer? That, oh, it's like a little bottle with a cork in it. Oh, that's nothing. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh. That's not part of our... There you go. You want to pour mm -hmm. some of that. Yep. They're all going to get equal amounts. They're all working together. Yes. So this is for a group who is basically slandering... Um, Another group. Another, another group, yeah. Alright, so then we'll add some of the wine. So, let's say you're the person that you're targeting, um, you know, has addiction problems or anything like that, using things that can be, I guess, problematic for them is good when you're cursing. Obviously, if you're doing healing or anything like that, you want to omit any kind of alcohol. Um, so, we're going to put the wine and the vinegar. Yeah. You got the cap, cap. cap for the yep. wine. Yep. Alright, so then we're gonna take our string. And I like to make like a little like one of those little slip knot thingies, just like a really simple one. Like this. Bam. You know one of the things that kinda like slides. Yeah, I don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> you don't do that? No. <laughs> I just tie it like a. Uh, so it's gonna be really wet and gross, but you want that. That's, that helps the curse. Heavy magic, man. Yep. Yeah. And that's why we do it over plates because it's really messy and gross. And luckily, the ingredients that we're using tonight are not toxic to our hands. Yeah, nothing so is toxic. That's why we're not using gloves. But mm -hmm. if you're using something that's toxic to your hands, use gloves. <laughs> well, that just broke, but it's fine because it's tight. That's what happens when you do a yep. slip knot. All right, so. <laughs> Just a look at that. Oh, it really looks like a little ghost. Yep. That's perfect. I'm not actually bound to this again because I don't trust that boy. Yeah, right. <laughs> so if it snaps or anything that happens, just bound it to the wrap three times and retie it. You're good to go. Ooh, it smells so pungent. Yeah, it does look that really good. <laughs> <laughs> smells like coloring Easter eggs. Yep. <laughs> Tie it off three times. All right, so once we are all done with that, we are going to make the heart of the puppet. So what you're going to do is you're going to now hold it back upside down so now that little head part is facing down. Oh. Then you have the bottom open up like that. So that's going to be where you put the heart. So everybody grab their respective person. Do I trim my string? You don't have to. You can leave it just like that. Yeah. And then we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to put the meat. So you can grab a little, a little, bit, little bit more than you did last time because this is going to be for the body. And you put it right in the center of the picture so it becomes that person's meat. Now another thing you can do is if you want to prepare this as the head, you would do this the opposite so the face was out. And that will become the face of the pot face. What? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not going to show anything. Alright, so you're going to put that in the center. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to fill it with all those horrid ingredients that we had before. So the face goes in the okay. Yep. Since it's not going to be used as the head, you do it with the face. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to 
Yeah, that's um, that. I feel like she should get the bug. Yeah, so yeah. we're using a wasp, so this is going to be another like a uh, another tormenting insect. So we'll put that in there. Did you put some more of this in there? Yes, I did. Now we're going to do some wormwood. The parsley mix. Everything. I'm going to get the snake juice going. Yep. So this is where we're going to really kind of go all out. What is this right here? Mosquitoes. Oh, these are the mosquitoes. Yeah. Just so we're going to put eat. all of the rest of our dirt. So we have the devil's chair dirt. Kind of shake a little bit in there. And don't be afraid to use a nice, generous chunk of the dirt if you need to. Just kind of pour it. Always with every step of this, you need to be thinking of your feeling, your intention, mm -hmm. all of it. Let the wrath take over. I will probably use a spoon for this dirt so I can get a nice right. chunk. Did you I thought you just used that dirt. Wait, is this the devil's chair? Yeah, that's devil's okay. chair. Yeah, you just know. Oh. Do you need the same? Wait, the devil's chair is right there. No. It's like suicide dirt, Jeff. And we already use that for the head. Oh. Why? Well, oh, well it's double. Then this one's suicide in this, though. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> well, we did use this That's for the head. That's what I thought. Yeah. All right, so that's serial killer. Okay. So give me that. I already did now. serial. <laughs> I'll just do it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is why labeling is fun. I know. Yeah, really, right? All right, so we got all the dirts in, the in there. Game moment. Yep. Well, give me that top and switch tops with me because okay. this is how it's supposed to go. There you go. <laughs> so this one we're going to put a couple different oils in it. You need that one. No, I guess not. Are you adding some of those? Yep. So the mosquitoes are going to torment. They're going to drain the person, so they're going to drain them of the energy. Right. Rebecca, we are doing a group curse on some enemies for some clients who are being attacked. Oh, yes. Tormented, attacked, For no bothered. reason. Yep. For no reason. Also, just a little fun tidbit. These bunches of mosquitoes were gifted to us by Michelle Benz. Yay, yep, thank so we Michelle. thank you. These are fantastic. I love them. <laughs> and we are using them. Yep, so put them right in that body right there. Can we have a third oil, I thought? Oh, no. We no, have two. Just two. So the Hollow the Dead, yep. um, the Hollow Dead is a kind of a memento mori oil. So this is Kind of, you're you're kind of doing a, um, a service to the dead by doing this. So this is kind of like doing a eulogy to the person that you're doing the curse on. Oh, we didn't use the last mask. We did not, but we could stick it in the body. Right here. Yep. Here you go. Here's the I did that one. Did we? We didn't open the mugwort. We don't really need the mugwort. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This stinks. It smells like old blood. We'll crack me off some. Oh. Yeah. The stinkier, the better. Yeah, right, pretty much. Yep. There you go. Okay. All right, so that's good on that. Oh, we'll add our wine. Our oh, I can't close this one. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't even light our little jack o' lantern. Yeah, yeah, we did. Oh, I mean, we did, but it didn't. Must not have stayed lit. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> I didn't mean to like. Yeah, yeah. we did. <laughs> What's that? Here you go. Yeah, use the under just a little. Bit. Some more, more wine. Do I crush that up or do I no. leave a hole? Just oh, leave it. Fine. Yeah, leave it whole. Alright, so now that you have all these ingredients in there, we're going to make the body. So you're going to get a little bit more string. Just a couple feet. <laughs> okay. I'll show you how I do it. I don't know if this is the way Jules has shown in the past. So, yeah, so gather all this. Now, it might seem like we kind of focus a lot on cursing, because it seems to me that's a lot of our demonstrations, but I feel like it's kind of something that's needed in the community. Um, not a lot of witches really focus on this aspect of the craft, um, so we like to just kind of show you how to do it, have it in your arsenal. We like defending ourselves. Yes. And you know what's funny? I have never done a curse in my life, so that just goes to show, show the level of frustration 
mm -hmm. of these individuals. Mm -hmm. Right. That you are willing to help. That I felt like it's due, done, needed. Alright, so we can find that. See, I always made arms. Oh, really? That makes it way more complicated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. You do not need arms. But I usually make the point. It's actually your demonstration that. Yeah, you can make arms because you know I've done it before, but this is like a simple one. So see how it's got like, see this little little thing like that, just like that. So what I also like to do is I take the remaining string and I kind of like wrap it around and make like a little torso kind of thing, kind of like that. And this is where you would you could make arms too. So you kind of just cross the thread around like that. So see how it makes kind of like an X on the chest. Then you tie that off. And there you go. So this is your poppet. So this is going to represent the person that you are doing the curse on. And then what you would do now that it's fully made and created you would do a naming ritual, and then you would work the doll. Oh, see, that looks good, Crystal. Mm. Yeah. yeah. They're going to look very nice on the tree. Yes, they are. And these just look good. So if you want to just make them and, like, have them hanging around your sacred space, you can even make, like, familiar spirits with these. So if you have, like, um, any kind of spirits that are around your house, these are good to use as, uh, like, vessels for them. So you would make it just a little bit different. All right, so before you can work it, you'd have to name it. So this is pretty easy. You just lay it down on your altar, and you do like a recite a naming spell. Now do you name it the same name as the person? Yes. That is? yes. Yep. Okay. <laughs> so, for I'm example, I have one in my, my book, Lever Caponia. We're not going to name any names. We are not. Out loud. Okay. Can you bring that closer to the camera so you can see? Um, the doll? Yeah. Yes, I can. So there it is right there. So if you see that. It's very simple. It's two little bumps, pretty much. Yep. That's literally <laughs> all it is. And then you leave some. And this represents like a traditional female. Um, and then if you're going to do a male, you would wrap the cloth so that you make legs. So you'd basically just tie off here and then tie around. And then it would make legs kind of like that. You can even make genitalia. Yes, you can. And you just like wrap a little ball right there and you can work that too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so, was that what we were going to do? You're doing Yep. Alright, so. So the typical naming thing, I like to do it on uh, three consecutive nights. Um, you can do it just all on the same night, that's totally fine. Um, but typically it would be something like, um, Come, gods of the inferno, gods of Erebus, aid me in this spell. And then you would put your hand above the doll. So you're seeing this now as the person you created it for. And you'd say, by the powers of night, I name you, the person's name, you are now their name. And from this moment on, one shall be ir irreconcilable from the other. And you say that three times. So this is basically saying this is going to be that person. Um, you can't, like, there's, there's no separating one from the other. You can't tell the difference. Yes. And then you would go and, uh, like, for example, what we would typically do is we're going to use needles. Um, so I'll show you how to do that. So let me just recite my little thing silently to myself. You can't see this, but what he's doing is he's pouring the candle over the rope, similar to this, you should be able to see, to seal it. Mm -hmm. So it's like doing a little seal on the knots. And this represents it being unbreakable. 
Let me put that candle right there. this doll. So what I like to do is I like to heat the needles up. This kind of adds a little bit extra torment. So what you would do is you would heat it in the flame just so these are conductive so it will kind of get hot if you leave it too long. Yeah. Just get it so that the end is red and then like for example this one part says I put poison in your belly. You take the needle and drive it into the belly of the poppet. One for taking away virility, so this will take away fertility, so you put that in the genital area. So in this case, we'll do it right underneath our bottom knot. And then you would do that typically around, like you'd continue doing it, depending on what you would do. So. We'll continue working these, so we're going to do one to drive madness, so we're going to do that in the head. Freaking nice hot, hot, right? Hot. Yeah. Mine singed as I put it into the skull. <laughs> so I'm going to do it through and through for the madness. We're going to do one to shut the mouth, so we're going to actually do two needles for this. And what you want to do is you want to take it. Because I know how to do this at this I point. I know, but I want to name my person and keep going. Okay. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to create an X with needles around the mouth. Ooh, that's stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of gooey now. Yeah. That's going to be your working copy, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Supreme discount copy. <laughs> <laughs> what page was it on? Um, towards the end. Okay. Are we going off around the Mm-hmm. So if you look at that. Should I have done that first before I started stabbing with all Nope. Okay. Yeah, all the steps are in Libra Cathonia, so you will see that in there. And then I'm going to take one to take away the vitality, so this is going to take away the life essence of the person if they keep messing with us. And that, which way do you go in that? And that's going to be in the heart. Mm-hmm. It feels like it gives it a little more. It does. It does. Mm-hmm. Because the flame is carrying our intentions. It's carrying the divine that we're working with. So this is kind of where I'm at right now. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do two in the eyes. Well, actually, since we're might run out of needles, we're going to do one in the eye, we're going to do it through and through. So this is so that they can't see what we're doing. So we want them to be blind against what we're doing, or unable to counteract it if they do find out. So you'll go to where the eyes typically would be, and just do it through and through, from one side, and then out the other. So we blind you to our working. And that's going to look like that. Seal it with the wax again. And again, this is creating that permanence that this spell cannot be broken.
Alright, so that's the gist of it. Um, so, other than this, uh, does anyone have any questions, comments, concerns on what we did? Now is the time to ask them. Now that mine's pretty much done, we will continue to work these after we're done with the live. Um, but for, this is basically um, the whole of what you would be doing. So, anyone with any questions? This is one of our favorite things to do. Yes, we love doing justice stuff mm -hmm. because it's, um, you know, justice is, is one of those things that's hard to come by in this community, um, you know, because you can't legally go after someone for slandering you in the way that these people are. Um, so this is our way of getting even. And again, this is, it seems really aggressive and overkill, but it's not like we're specifically saying kill this person. You can say that in the curse, but... Your intention is just to get them to stop messing with you, and your gods and your spirits will make Either that time. happen in the easiest way possible. It could just be that the person just literally stops thinking about you and talking about you, that it's not like a death, a physical <laughs> death, but more of a death of the situation, so it completely kills off their negative intentions. Yeah, it's our pleasure. That's what we're for. Yep. So with these, what you can do is you can either bury them in a graveyard, um, you can dispose of them at a triple crossroads, you can burn them in fire, um, you can keep them in a box with mirrors on the inside. Um, one of the, a really good thing to do is to put it in like a little coffin box. Now this is for entertainment purposes only because this is illegal. Um, but let's say you were um, writing a story about witches and you wanted your witch to do something with this, they can take it to a graveyard and perform a mock funeral where you would do a funeral for the person and then bury it. Act as if it's a real corpse. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so the whole time you're doing this, you're visualizing that person. You're seeing that person um, in this process. And if you don't like cursing, but you want us to do another puppet for any other type of working, let us know. Um, this is just the easiest to demonstrate, and it's the most fun because you use a lot of creative ingredients. Um, but see, look at it. Look at little craft night. It yep. really is. That feels great. Mm -hmm. To help so, people out. Yep. So we'll continue working these. Um, does anyone have any other questions? If not, then we will go nail these to the tree. <laughs> yes, we will. <laughs> <laughs> and we hope you all had a great Sunday. And. You know, tomorrow's Market Monday. Also, remember, we have the ball coming. Yay! Yep, we have two weeks Less than left. two weeks now. Less, less than two, two weeks. weeks. Oh, my God. I keep saying yeah, two she weeks. Saying yeah, two weeks, real. but it'll be done in two weeks. Can you believe it? I know. It? This is going to be... This time, two weeks from now, will be the day after the Our ball. Our bull is happening, little prophet. <laughs> and you're not going to be there. You're not going <laughs> to be there. Because <laughs> <laughs> you will be hit to a tree. Exactly. Yes. Just keep going. Can't help you it. You can't help yeah. it. You can't come ruin dark. it. You can't come hinder it. That's right. You can't hurt us. Yes. See, and that when you're working a pop, pop it, that's perfect to do right there. Yep. While she was addressing it, and you can you know that she has that feeling, and she's, an entity. she's putting it into that. Into the that's what you want to do. Yep. So you're treating it as that person. Like if that person was standing in front of you, what would you say? You yes. would you be able to take out any anger or aggression you want on this poppet, and it's sympathetically linked to that person. So what you do is going to translate through the ether into that person's life. And again, the same thing will go for healing. If you do a protection working for someone, prosperity working, that's how it's going to work. So if there's no other questions, we thank you for viewing. And um, we are here. We'll be looking around the chats and everything. So let us know if there's anything that you have questions on. Um, and again, if you have any other suggestions on stuff you want us to do, we'll be more. Or if you want to volunteer. Yeah, if you want to volunteer to do one of your own. Like if you want to do a Sunday school session, you're more than welcome to. We want to hear from you, see what you do. Um, meet and, you. And meet you, yeah. <laughs> but hopefully we'll be meeting all of you at the ball. Yes! Uh, you we can. Are. You can definitely use poppets for protection. Um, Every intention you can think of, you can use one in a yep. poppet. If you want us, poppets are so cool. Exactly. <laughs> if you want us to do one on protection, um, let us know. We can definitely do one. Those I wouldn't nail to a tree. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a whole different sort of situation. Yes. Yes, it would. Okay. Well, everyone have a great night. Do you want to hit the button or do you want me to? I don't know where the button is. So. It's finished right there. Right. All right. The well, have a good night, everyone, <laughs> and we will talk to you later. Yay. Bye. Bye.